Well, hello friends. Today I thought I would share with you a collected antique and thrift haul and a few items I got from our local bin store. So I've just been collecting these items for the past couple weeks and a few items I've missed from other rummage hauls. So I thought I would just pop on and share this um, pretty fun haul, some fun things that I found. So I'm going to start with more of the antiques that I've found lately and some more home decor, kitchen wares type of things. So this colander I found for a dollar at a garage sale. I have one on our table that I put our nap cloth napkins into and this one, oh, I just love the patina on it. It's kind of, it's silver on the inside. It's just kind of I don't know, it's just kind of fun and rustic and I have our fresh produce in it, like tomatoes and cucumbers on our counter because it's that type of season. So it's a fun gold uh, copper colander for a dollar. And just a nice stainless steel mixing bowl. I think this was 50 cents at a rummage sale. Okay, I think most of the other items were, one was from a box of items I got from an auction and I shared that on my Instagram stories. So I'm gonna share all of those items first. So I paid $20 for these items coming up total and then there's some things I'm not sharing because they were kind of broken, little things in there that um, I probably won't be keeping and some of these items I may not keep either and just resell as well. But I was really excited to see these blue and white plates. There's four of them here. I have some mugs that match and some smaller plates, like the mug plates or dessert plates that go with it. So they're kind of like a, a Asian pattern. There is no marking on the back, so I don't know if they're like ironstone or if they're European or if they're just China. So, but I was excited to see those in that box at the auction. Grab those up. I think this though was probably my favorite out of the box of what I found. So it's an ironstone plate, of course. It's in cottage white. It has the little um, detailing of the dots around the side. And so I really was excited to find this plate. Some other random things in that box I got. Just these custard dishes. I'm going to be getting rid of those, but they're just kind of fun color. Um, they are good for like snacks and stuff like that too, but I'm gonna be getting rid of those. And this Pyrex, this is so bright, but I know these are antique Pyrex little baking dishes, so I'm not sure if I'll keep this or if I'll sell it, but you know, those bright blue is, um, color is fun for summer. All right, this is a very heavy duty bowl. It does say Merry Christmas 1995 ration maker products. So it also has this on the front. I'm not a huge fan of that. It looks like it was hand painted on there. And on the back it says Alpine Pottery, Ohio, 1995 Rose Hill. But I really do like the sturdiness of it, the blue and cream. It's very farmhouse cottage style and I do like serving out of these big bowls. So I'm on the fence on keeping this one or not. Okay, same theme. This is the Ration Maker 1998. This one, um, Croc is, so it must be from like the same place, but I really liked the Croc. I don't know if I'll be keeping this or not, but the blue, I really like the blue. I mean, these are great for decor. As you can see, I have Crocs behind me. You can put utensils in them because as you saw, I did have this one too. This one is 1997, so I don't know. It does have I think it says Whitney on the bottom. I don't know, I can't tell, but it does say Whitney 77. I don't know, I'm not sure exactly if that's so much signature or what, but these ones are great for little utensils in there. Um, it does have the number five engraved on the back, so I'm not sure what that means. Maybe you who are, and that has number eight, maybe that's their size. Moving on to stuff I found at an antique store lately. So I found this jar, it is pretty dirty. So it has a cork in it, which is extremely dirty on the inside. It was $10 originally, but this booth was 50% off. So I got it for five. I'm gonna try to figure out how to clean it because I look really beautiful with stems in it and um, even faux stems, greens, something like that. So I really like this glass tall um, vase or uh, glassware. 
this is just a cute little honey dish now this was three dollars originally and again it was 50 percent off but it um it, or else it could be a sugar dish i'm not 100 percent sure but i mean you could put honey in it and have your little spoon sticking out of it but i just thought that was really cute with the blue flowers on there and it's got that pottery look so this was a dollar fifty and it's what i paid for this cute little um jar here okay this was a fun spoon now this reminds me of something andrea at pine and prospect home would pick up because she does a lot with her wood spoons but this was really fun i'm not exactly sure just like a wood paddle so it was i think i paid five dollars for it so i was debating on it but uh, it just it's so fun so cute i don't know if i'll keep it if i'll give it away um but anyways i just really liked this dark wood spoon i'm not like i said not really sure what it was used for but it's got a lot of scratches on it but i love that just like knowing it was used it was well worn so fun find there i may have shared this in a just day in the life video but i had to share it again because these are hard to come by these are the antique um, oil lamps and this one has the wick fully intact it had five dollars on it and it was 50 percent off so i got this for 250 like i feel like that's unheard of anymore to find a really nice oil lamp for two dollars and fifty cents so i definitely bought that up and just to have and the company was well, made in china so i don't know maybe it's not <laughs> maybe it's not an authentic oil lamp but anyways it's so nice to have oil lamps with a nice wick and i have one already but two would be nice if ever electricity goes up for long periods of time or something like that so 250 for that not an antique, but this was at that antique booth that was 50% off. These boots I'm going to resell. I got them for um, $5. They were 50% off again, and they were $10. So they are the brand uh, DKSUKO, just DKSUKO, something like that. They look never worn. Um, I looked online, and they go for like $60 originally. They are size six, so not my size, so definitely would have to resell them, but they're nice, like rain snow boots. So I will be reselling those on Marketplace. They have a nice little liner in there, so, and zip side. So if you're looking for anything, check out Facebook Marketplace if you're looking for these. I completely forgot about this scale. I got for $4 from the auction. One of our buddies got a bulk uh, supply of things and this was in it and he didn't want the scale so I offered him $4 for it. So it's a Wayrite and it's got the red top. We just have a plant on it. And I just thought it's so fun. It's not real, it's not even real rusty. It's just, well it is a little bit. <laughs> but it's just fun to add some character and some texture. Just have it on my <laughs> washing machine actually where some of my other plants are at and stuff. So just a fun little piece to find for $4. Okay, I think I think the rest of everything I have is from our local bin store. So I did go on the $3 day and then the $1 day. So these I was really excited about. I found six of them, or a box of six, and they will be great for my kombucha. So they're a brand new return. Um, they was missing one, so they have never been used, but yeah, when I make kombucha, this will be perfect just to have these bottles and keep what I have made in here, or when I make my vanilla. But I always love these little flip top that store so well, and if I made a water key forever, anything like that, these bottles would be great for that. All right, I picked these up because I got two of these for $3. And if you're Mrs. Myers user, you know they're not a cheap um, company or brand. So $3 for two of these 32 ounce all-purpose cleaners. I couldn't go wrong with that. And it's my favorite scent. The Lemon Verbena is my favorite scent. Okay, everything else I got from the bins was a dollar. I got this Method dish soap. It is Citrus Grove. I didn't even smell it. I picked it up. Very, very nice scent. Just knowing Method is also an expensive um, product. And so I got that for a dollar. 
Now this, I did not get just one of these. I got, I'll just show you. I got three, no, I got six of these boxes filled with three for a dollar. So three of these hand soaps. It is the rainwater scent, so not, not real potent. It's just kind of a neutral, subtle. It has a little pop, but I thought these would be great for our Airbnb to give as gifts because three dollars or three of these for one dollar is a steal and I couldn't pass that up. All right, I got a little pajama set for my little girl. Um, it's a 5T, but it's got a long sleeve, long pants, and a t-shirt that says change the world with your smile. So that was a dollar. I just got this long curtain because I want to cover something up that um, I was told try using a curtain. So it's just kind of like a burnt orange color. Uh, it's the Eclipse brand, so it's never been opened. I'm just going to use that to cover something up. Now, I knew my little three-year-old would really enjoy this, and it's got like an ink-free, ink-mess-free pen. Those would be great for traveling, little crayons. So for a dollar, why not snag that up for something like that? I did miss one thing on the $3 day. I got this water wow. These are also great for traveling, so I thought that would be really fun. And my little girl was with me, so I let her pick one thing out too. So I think that is everything I have for my collective haul. A lot of fun antiques that I found, and I just really enjoy going to the bins and finding some good deals there. So hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, and I'll talk with you in the next one.